Now, I want to make sure this is very clear. I do not hate people. I, based on sh they're trans or not, I don't. I personally don't care. It's similar to the 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 rise of Islam in the I believe in the, what is it the eighth century, like the early the early mid seventh century, eighth century. Really, kind of grim view on this, and that if people don't start waking up to these media tactics. They're going to continue to be pulling you, and they're going to continue to fuck you to a point of, I would argue, civil. So, YouTube, it's a great rainy day in my home state of Florida. And, uh, today, this actually being live in Florida might be actually a good way of starting to bring this up. Sorry about that, Governor, sorry about that, Governor Guantanamo. I am so sorry. Anyways, uh, yeah, today we're going to be going over why the LGBT debate and the history of it and why it's tremendously stupid and how the media let the cat out the bag on this one. They let the genie out the bottle, folks. But anyways, if you do like the video, hit the like, comment, subscribe button, hit the bell notification. That way we get all that good stuff going. But yeah, anyways, peace. Up the Jazz Journey stuff again. It's really sad what happened to this poor person. But like, I, I wanted to bring this up because I think this is a massive... What kind of put it on the map? If, if not the Caitlyn Jenner stuff, which, again, you can make the case that, yeah, her, uh, that, uh, that whole media tour thing she did with, like, Entertainment Tonight or whatever, put it on the map, but, like, this kind of really solidified it. If, like, Caitlyn, if Caitlyn Jenner is Otto Graham, or actually that's a bad example, if Caitlyn Jenner is Joe, is Joe Montana, Jazz Jennings is Tom Brady, like, like, she, she is the, she is what's sparked off a new thing right like like she like she kind of indirectly inspired a lot of the stuff and the media started using this to basically to basically as like a wedge hole right it's it's to like say like um for corporate backing where it's like oh we're so trans rights we're so these things these people hate trans people right it's to get emotional attachment to things they want you to view their stuff but so they have to put something shocking. They have to put like something so extreme that's really not happening, and then put at the end of the article, like, "Oh yeah, well, this actually, uh, you know," and just start trickling down from there, right? And start watering everything down from there. Uh, kind of like uh, when you, you know, kind of like when you had like the the '60s rock kind of corporate bands, and then you went into like Black Sabbath, and then everything's getting more and more extreme from there. Basically, it's just the inverse. Like if if that kind of makes sense. It starts the most extreme thing possible. You start, you basically have the Varg Vigrons, and then you go down, and then you start getting to, like, the basically the dorkiest of 60s rock, those corporatized of 60s rock, right? Like, that's kind of what you have. Like, the most boil, bo uh, boiled down version is at the end of the article, and that's how they get your attention. That's how they retain your attention. So, I think this is a good case note for that, and where it kind of really took off if not, you know, between that or Caitlyn Jenner, which you could make a case for that, too. But it's fair to bring this portion up, because I think this matters. Now, I want to make sure this is very clear. I do not hate people. I, based on sh their trans or not, I don't, I personally don't care. To, to, to be quite honest, I, I have a very kind of, like, different view on that. Even as a Christian, I think, like, you should dissuade this stuff. I think that you should uh, discourage it. But at the end of the day, people are going to do what they're going to do. They're going to fall into sin, what have you. And I think I they just it's kind of like a point of view of if they don't know what sin is, they don't know what they need to run from, right? Like if um, like if if you are in a in a like for example, right? If there's a threat, right, and you don't and let's say the per, let's say there's a shooter in your school, okay, and you don't know they have a gun, right? You don't know you don't know what the threat is to run from. But the moment they pull out that gun, then you know what the threat is to run from, right? It's a similar similar kind of a thing with that. And I, I think that you should just I think that it is sinful, but you don't know how bad the sin goes until you actually kind of dive into it. So I just want to make sure that's very clear. I don't support this stuff. I I discourage it, but also legally I don't see a reason why people shouldn't be able to do this. They just gonna have to take that up with God. But anyways, yeah, just get this, uh, get back into this, this video right here. Whew.
Scratch what I said before. <clears throat> Caitlyn Jenner didn't start transitioning until 2015, which was around the same time the Jazz Dirty stuff came out. But this is the thing with like one of the major articles you see is like, oh, there's always a woman that lived inside of me, da da da, right? And then this is when they really start hammering it, hammering it home in these articles. Like I said, they want to draw your attention. They want you to think something is like this is such a brave thing to do. They want to drive your emotions, right? And that uh, they want they want you to feel like this. You want they want you to you want to tug at the heart. Oh, imagine if you couldn't. Imagine if you wouldn't be able to. Imagine how brave this person is. Like, oh, but the bad stuff that drains people. Like, and again, I'll go over this again. Even in 2024, the population that has a gender identity disorder in general, so that's the uh, non-binary crowd and the transgender crowd, is 3.6%. When you do that, you're eliminating 96.4% uh, of the population. I forget if it's 3.5 or 6, uh, 36 But it's something along those lines, and what you're doing is you're drawing people's emotions, right? There's no reason to write articles about the... Um, the uh was the trans like the, the 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 this group of people and it doesn't really affect 96 point uh 90 was it 90 96 point four percent of the population and i figured i'd bring that up so now we're going to be going into the psychological portions of it and why i absolutely despise the fact this was actually even a thing because now what's happening is you've planted the seed in these people's heads right you've uh you've uh you've um what is it with enough time passing and enough and enough growth, sometimes it's impossible to, to to stop the train from running, right? Like, and and I think I think that's kind of where we're at with this currently, and I'm gonna go over that, and I'm gonna be going over the psychological effects of it because I think the fact that people widespread believe this either on the um, what is a woman Matt Walsh, which I made a video on him, I made a video on his fucking hipster ass before. Like he is, he like he is like if a conservator, if a conservative wanted to look like a hipster. Again, I made a video on this. I'll link it below. But um, yeah, and I'm gonna be going over why that is, and uh, right now because I think this is actually super important, and I think this stuff needs to be exposed on both hypothetical sides, so to speak. And someone just needs to flat out say it. So I might as well screw it at this point. Yeah. So how it's how? Oh shit. There we go. And now, how ideas spread is you'll have like it's similar to the 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 rise of Islam in the I believe in the, what is it the eighth century, like the early the early mid seventh century, eighth century, right? It's similar to that where like if enough time goes by, okay, if you, these narratives are pushed for long enough, people don't. Like I said, people don't know life before these narratives, okay? I personally don't. I don't I don't remember really the first time I really was like actually looked looked at the news, which is a funny story, is there was a bestiality case in Florida where somebody got fucked by a goat. No, somebody fucked a goat, rather. And I cannot find that article anywhere to save my life. I remember it was on uh the t I think it was on the Today Show or um yeah, I think it was on the Today Show uh, at the time on NBC. God, I'm fucking uh, NBC. Anyways, they're, they're in the suck cock on the show. But anyways, um, yeah. So, and then the second thing I do remember is the medical marijuana stuff or legalization of marijuana. Which again, I I uh, I smoke weed, but I do it because I have Tourette's and a whole bunch of other issues. It helps me focus on that and not twitch as much, and helps me, like. What like instead of going like what did they revive? It's like okay, you gotta focus on one. One's done. Two, you gotta focus on two. Two number two's done. Number three is done. Number four's done, and that's what helps you kind of focus, right? And because I was on other meds in the past, that just would fog me up all day, pretty much. I just um, and I'm gonna probably make a video in the future about my history and why I make these videos and why I just have a genuine vendetta with the media and with uh the polit uh, polit pol well, look, politicians in general. Uh, so, yeah, boring, that's a video for another day. But, uh, yeah, uh, so, basically what happens is, you'll get, maybe, something will pick up, right? And then what happens is, people will see this, either from a reputable source, or, like, these things get talked about, eventually, like, the dominoes start falling, 
And if they continue, and if the coverage continues for long enough, people don't remember what it was like before this stuff, right? Like I said, the I'm going to go to the third article and I, I heard about the third story I remember uh, is like the Caitlyn Jenner stuff. It's like the really the third thing I remember. I don't really remember what life is like like pre this stuff because I'm 23. Like this stuff started when I was like 15, 16, and I didn't really develop much social skills until like 15. Well, actually, I don't want to say 15. I'd say like 16, 17. So like again, like this is stuff that actually like matters, right? Like this is stuff that really should be looked at. Because I think what's going to end up happening, and this is just my prediction, I also have another prediction to make in general regarding like a big pharmaceutical thing, but for this video in specific, I have a really kind of grim view on this, and that if people don't start waking up to these media tactics, they're going to continue to be pulling you, and they're going to continue to fuck you to a point of, I would argue, civil war. I think if you're being fucked to a point and you don't know why, and you're being put in these desperate situations because you don't know why, desperate people act desperately. That's what's going to happen, okay? So what's going to happen is because, and if, again, if this keeps going, people are not going to know what life was like before this. So they're not going to know if there's a way out. They're not going to, like, like you can't, like, that's how the human brain works. You formulate ideas based on past experiences, you know, so, like, for example... Uh, like, uh, and then, again, everything grows, right? So, like, um, what, what ends up happening is, like, you get this idea, okay? That idea is usually based on a select things of that you've seen, right? So, like, you say, oh, there's grass outside. Oh, the grass grows really high. It itches my leg. What would happen if I cut down the grass? Boom, and then eventually got the lawnmower, right? So, I think that's how ideas work. Now... You can, uh, now when these things start coming up, people have these ideas and all these different things and like how to help these people, which by the way, uh, I believe there is a trans, uh, woman named Blair White. I think she made a really good video on this. I think she calls it out from like a personal perspective, right? And I say she, because she looks like a woman. I think it would be dumb if I walked into a restaurant and was like, oh, I want that guy over there, and it's Blair. Like, it's it's really dumb. I, I think it's really stupid, right? And that's where I kind of differentiate pronouns, et cetera, et cetera, because it's just a recognition of sex, uh, secondary sex characteristics. That's pretty much all pronouns are. But anyways, we're going to get into that in a moment. So we're gonna, well, that's probably another day for another topic. But basically you have, so you have all these people like, oh, this is, oh, uh, and then what? And then so you see trans people like, oh, gender is on a spectrum. I, it's, um, or people can go between binaries, right? So you get to have someone who appears to be a woman, right? That's their gender identity, right? Their gender identity, so to speak. Okay, then you have the people, I they, the idea of why keep it within a binary? You can switch from one to the other, why keep it within a binary? That's how you get the non-binary crowd, right? So I, I think, like, I think that's kind of... And that's why I hate these debates. That's why I think it's so stupid. But the problem is the genie's out the bottle enough to a point where I think you actually have to subst uh, substantially address these things. And I think the problem is a lot of the a lot of the, uh, these politicians, Republicans and Democrats. You have the Liberal Party in Canada, you have the Liberal Party in Australia, which look, I hope to God Ab Albanese wins that because the Liberal government fucking suck fucked. Uh, like you have um, it was the Conservative Party in the UK. You have all these different parties. And it, even if there is a Labour government, right, in, in those parties, they actually do lobby on behalf of workers a lot of the time. You, they barely get into power because you have these corporate suck cocks, these, these fucking corporate blowjobs, okay, like, designating, like, like, you have these advertisers, and then they designate, okay, these are talking about the left, talking about the right, people fall for that, because, like, I, 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 could, I brought this up in a different video, but, uh, like, the, the way it's layered to where, uh, people don't really see the light on a lot of these things, and the average person doesn't have the time to look into these things, so they really just end up being uninformed, and like I said, desperate circumstances lead to desperate actions, I don't know how else you can differentiate still. Okay, if you put someone in a desperate, a desperate circumstance where they have to save their child, they're going to act in a desperate manner, in a desperate situation like that. Again, and I think what's gonna end up happening is the pendulum is going to go so far, so far one way, so far towards one ideology, eventually that pendulum is going to crash down, and it's going to swing really hard the other way. And what's going to end up happening is they're going to end up having a lot of people who want vengeance. People are inherently evil, okay? They're also inherently good. 
but like the, the, you you have to go actually I take it back people are, are inherently evil you have to go out of your way to make a good decision people are inherently selfish you have to go out, you have to go out of your way to be selfless okay and I think like the way I view it is the cat's already so far out of the bag on this one it's it ran from LA to New York okay like the, the, the cat is fucking gone okay like the, like the cat is so far out of the bag that you, you you can't even track the damn thing okay like and like that's where my problem is with this. Why so I, I hate these fucking debates. That's why I, I think it's so fucking stupid. But at the same time, it's such a massive problem now because you have these fucking corporate fucking corporate handy mandies over here. These fucking corporate hand jobs, these fu these fucking corporate burnt spunks, okay? Controlling the narrative and nobody's like there's not enough there's not enough prominent people saying, "Fuck you. I'm not listening to you. Fuck off." You're a fucking dipshit, okay? You are you have you have the IQ of a fucking snail, okay? Your brain moves slower than a goddamn sloth, all right? Like, let's just be honest here. You don't have enough prominent people saying that because the moment they do, they are shouted down by the corporate press because they don't fall within a certain narrative. That is why Trump got so much fucking power. It's because these people do not address his issues with substance. They don't do that. They'll be like. Trump is sexist. Racism. It doesn't. Like, it's fucking stupid. It is so dumb. I have made so many videos. I have made videos online. Again, I hope this blows up. Debunking all this shit. On why I don't think Trump is the best economically. And I even have a prediction I made. Where I will fucking shove my shoe in my mouth. Literally speaking, okay? I will shove my fucking foot in my mouth, figuratively speaking, if this does not happen. Because every single metric shows this will happen. Trump's gonna get elected. He's gonna fucking fuck up the economy even worse. Americans are gonna be like, what the fuck, dog? We fucking elected you because we believed you would help us. Now you're fuck. Now you're just fucking us, okay? You, 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 you're, you're, fucking a, you're fucking us like Moby Huge anal fucking dry style, okay? You are giving us the biggest fucking panel experience of our fucking lives. And then what's going to happen is, in 2028, it's going to shift all the way back to Democrat, and the pendulum's going to keep swinging. It's going to keep swinging between different parties, like this. Massive swings. Until eventually, it just starts spinning and just falls off the hinges. Like, that's what I think is genuinely going to happen. Because you cannot have this level of divisiveness, and I would argue maliciously done, by these media companies. I, 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 I don't understand how, how else you would get to this point. How else you would, like, like, get to this point of divisiveness. Which I brought up again. The mainstream media, do you think they care about making money? No, they care about influence, okay? That's why they're around. That's why they lose money, like, constantly. You could, you can, you, you could wipe your ass with more, with less hundred dollar bills than these people fucking waste. And it's also a tax break, too. What you think? You think Disney is keeping like NBC alive, or Time Warner is keeping CNN alive because they care? They actually want to provide relevant information. No, they don't. They keep them alive because they know Stephen Crowder, Tim Pool, Hassan, Destiny, all of the most prominent political people are gonna fucking talk about them. They're gonna cite their articles. That's what they're gonna do. They're gonna. That's literally all they do that's all that's what they will do okay and the only exception to this is like tim pool when he cites scnr which is literally his own article it's his own publication he's citing so if they're not citing a publication they directly own they are citing like these companies that want to fuck you that are deemed reputable but just are out to screw you and they control the narrative they control the talking points they like that they, they do. At the end of the day, they do. They control the talking points, and at this point, I just I just make a video calling this out because again, because holy fuck, man, this shit pisses me off because it's so counterproductive. It's insane, but it's also to gone along enough to a point where it's like you have to address it. You literally just need to sit down, like like you do, brother and sister, and be like, you guys are gonna fucking get along with each other whether you like it or not or we're going to take every electronic you have we're going to put you we're gonna ground you until you guys can get the fuck along and we're gonna stick you in the same room together until you guys get along like that's literally what, what you have to do with here because this 
the the political landscape in the U.S. is so divisive, and I fucking hate it. It pisses me off because it's divisive for no reason. It's not like it's divisive for a good reason. Like it's not like it's not like like any of these talking points really help us with shit. It's just turning people against each other. And I and I really 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 hope I blow up on YouTube because I want to bring people together at the end of the day. I want, I want to, that's why I call out both sides. So I'll call out Hassan. That's why I'll call out Stephen Crowder. So I'll call out Tim Pool. Because the, the, the reality is, none of these people know what the fuck they're talking about. And they're just falling for the pattern. They're falling for the ideology. They don't, a lot of these people don't know they are. I would argue Hassan knows what the fuck he's doing. He's just a fucking malicious scum lord, dumb lord. But anyways, he has, he has, he has a lower IQ than the fucking Gerber baby. But, but the the fucking Down syndrome girl baby. But anyways, but a lot of people on the other side are just fucking stupid. They don't like they they, they I think they have good intentions. I think Stephen Crowder has good intentions. I think Tim Pool has good intentions. And I think if this stuff was explained to them, they would probably be like, oh okay, yeah, I'm, oh shit, I get what's going on now. You have these other layers here that we're just not seeing. And I think like that's that's something I want to do. I just want to bring people together at the end of the day politically. And I want to call out this bullshit because it drives me nuts. But also, too, it's entertaining. I understand why it's entertaining, too. Like, I get that. I'm entertained by those things. Granted, I'm entertained by a loud enough fart, but that's beyond the point. And I think people just need to learn to address this properly. And I think uh, that's why I hope I blow up on YouTube because this stuff needs to stop. The, the, the people need to stop fighting and they just need to like learn to come together and let the fringes be the fringes at, like, at the end of the day because I don't think people understand how bad this actually is and why things are going so far south I just yeah but if like I said if you do like the video like comment subscribe all that stuff that way you get um all that way you get my videos but anyways peace